Welcome back to 5 Mods in 5 Minutes. I did just want to quickly say, if you are new around here, consider subscribing. If you do like my content and you want to support me, consider becoming a channel member. You get special perks like a thank you at the end of every single video and a Discord rank and room. Anyway, let's jump straight into it. At number one, we have Muse of Ambition. You get a decision to become the Muse of Ambition, allowing you to go between ambitious rulers to help them achieve their full potential. So basically, you're like a spirit. Like every time your character dies, you'll just become someone else. And every time your character does die, you will get three choices between three random rulers that obviously all have the ambitious trait. Anyone you have previously played as will have a new trait, Epitone of Ambition, and the children will have Descendant of Ambition. Now, these traits don't actually do anything, but they are just a nice way to track who you have played, and you can check in like 100 or so years if that dynasty is still around. This is just like a little weird mod for me, but I really, really like it. It's a clever idea, and it can give you some fun playthroughs where you have no idea what to expect next. I'm sure some people don't like losing all your progress and moving on, but it breaks from the vanilla cycle and yeah, it's just a lot of fun to change it up for once. And number two, we have more laws. More lords adds loads of new laws for you to change in your realm, really allowing you to balance new things, which is always appreciated. They all do cost prestige and they can start getting quite costly at a thousand per law change. But some of the ones you get is the tax law, where you can balance your popular opinion with how much tax you want from all your hold-ins, or options that affect factors like men at arms cost, maintenance, and how many regiments that you can hold. I have to say, they are all very well balanced. They typically give a positive benefit while causing problems elsewhere, like the Inquisition law. It will make you absolutely hated by people of different faiths, but it will increase the speed change of changing faith by 100%. And we do have the best law of them all. If you have a ruler that, no matter what they try, just fails to grow a beard, don't worry, just ban beards. Yep, it's that easy. Next up, at number three, we have Higher Mortality. And it offers you a world that will be a lot harsher on everybody. It brings the realism of medicine of the time by making diseases much more apparent and deadly. The first thing, fertility has had a slight increase, as back then it was common for people to have way more children. But as you may expect, the risks of giving childbirth have been increased, so you will most likely end up losing more children due to this. But that is just pregnancy. All diseases in general have a higher chance to kill people. So having a good court physician will be more essential than ever before. One of the things it claims is that it makes it harder for children to become adults due to the wide range of diseases that can affect children. They will all be under the name pneumonia, as many diseases are not in the game, but it does mention how deadly some of these diseases were. So this mod will make managing for the future of your dynasty a lot more difficult. Relying on the one special heir is just not a viable strategy, as they will more than likely die, leaving you without an heir to your throne. It is mentioned that you should pair this mod with less old wives, so the AI will marry their children to people who can actually have children and not some random 70 year old. This just helps the AI's dynasties not to just die out because they didn't have enough children. But this is a great mod for somebody looking for that extra challenge. Next up we have Tavern Games Volume 4, Joust. I wasn't going to talk about any of the Tavern Games mods for a while, because I've had them in like my last couple of videos, but... They do just keep getting even more insane, so here we are again. This time, of course, you can challenge other people to a joust, and it will cost you 100 gold. The game, like the other tavern games, is a fairly simple game. It is still pretty fun, though, and it just goes to show the lengths this game can be pushed. It makes me wonder what we could see in the future. Maybe 3D duels? I remember someone was talking about that in the comments, and I think that would be crazy, so you never know. And after you do beat someone, you get three options. You can taunt them which gains you 80 prestige in gold and lowers their opinion of you. Then you can strong taunt, giving double that at 160 gold and prestige for making them absolutely hate you and become your rival. Or if you're playing a kind character, you can decide to show good sportsmanship, which does give you back zero gold. You do just get the 160 prestige and it increases their opinion of you by 20. And you also gain 20 opinion of yourself. So yeah, I don't know how that works, but there we are. The last thing that makes this mod really cool though, is that you can challenge rivals to death joust, where you guessed it, the loser dies. Well, if you decide so, as once again, you get three options. Bargain with them for some gold to let them live, or of course, just kill them while you sit there on top of your horse with the pointy stick. 
So last up, we have poaching and hunting privileges, and this is a mod that changes how you and vassals will hunt, and brings a new option for contracts. When you decide to hunt, you will get three options of where to hunt in your realm. Hunting on your own land is fine, but if you hunt in your vassal's land, they will get insulted. I think it's losing like 20 opinion, but again, it's not a crime. But if you do hunt in your lieges controlled land, it is against the law, and you will have a poacher secret, which, if exposed, will give a minus five general opinion. So to get around this, you do need to negotiate a contract to try and get hunting privileges and the AI will do this as well I'm pretty sure so your vassals could get the secret if they hunt in your land and so on. I thought it was just a nice little mod I do enjoy mods that make small changes to certain mechanics. If you're interested in live streams come check out my twitch currently I'm doing two streams a week where I am going for a hundred percent achievements on CK3 as I always play with mods so I basically have none. It's been a lot of fun having some of you guys helping me suggesting what I should call my empire what I should wear and of course a massive thank you to all the channel members we have Bayek Von Quark, Arcane, Damien, Intermia 1, Irrelevant, and Luke Jarrett. I am genuinely super thankful for all you guys. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.